Well, technically, a professional is someone who earns their core income from what they're doing. I think there is a bit more to it than that. Uh, I think the word professionalism or being professional is more about an attitude. It's about understanding what the clients want, acting ethically around them, and also being able to provide the outcome that they're looking for. My first paying job was in about 2008. I was quite fortunate in the way that it unfolded. I was doing TFP shoots and I had done a few with one particular model who I got on pretty well with. As it turns out, she started her own fashion company. She got some quotes from other photographers, which I didn't know whether they were good or not at the time. But she then came to me and asked me what I would quote her if I was to do the job and I gave her what I thought was a reasonable amount after having spoken to some other professional photographers and I was fortunate enough to land the job. So I didn't, in essence, really have to ask to be paid for the job. Uh, I guess it kind of came to me. I don't know if it was the best feedback, it was sort of a bittersweet moment. I was shooting the special children's Christmas party. I had done it for a couple of years and you get to know some of the parents and some of the kids who are there regularly. I was taking a shot of uh, young lady and afterwards her mum came up and asked if she could see the photo. I said yes of course, I showed her the photo and she burst into tears, sort of tried to console her a little bit and asked if it was okay. She said that that would be their last Christmas with their daughter, which was a little bit heartbreaking, but she was very grateful that they had a, an image of her on her last Christmas. I think if you're doing commercial work, one of the main priorities is confidentiality. If it's around a marketing campaign or the release of a new product, something like that, obviously it's sensitive information that the client doesn't necessarily want their competitors knowing about at that particular point in time. Negativity on set, I don't believe there is any, any room for negativity on a set. I think when most people have photos taken, often they feel quite vulnerable in front of the camera. I think it's, as a photographer, I think it's our jobs really to try and enhance their confidence, not deflate it. Believing that as the photographer, you're the most important person in the room. I really feel that if you want a successful outcome, 99% of the time, it's a, a team effort. And everyone that's in that room and in that team is just as important as everyone else. Touching the models is just a no-no. Having any sort of unethical behavior or language towards them, also, there is no, there's no room for that whatsoever. And trying to you know, coerce them to do things that they're not comfortable with or being unethical is probably the lowest you can get as a photographer. There are probably a few favorites that I've got and I guess each of them sort of illustrates a part of my journey. There was a photo that I took, uh, I think it was around about 2008, of a model in a garden setting. At the time, it, it blew me away. I was really impressed with it and the most impressive part was that I actually meant to take it. It wasn't a, a one-off fluke. So I was fairly impressed with that. There are a couple of other standouts. I've done some really creative shoots with a model called Hayley Beardman in Perth. Um, some of the outcomes that we've had from them, again, not just me, it's a huge team effort. Um, some of the outcomes we've had from those shoots have been absolutely amazing. In fact, the last one ended up in a European magazine. And there's also another shot that I took with a model named Edlin Fry. And it was actually taken in this studio very, very simple shot, uh, one light taken from the back, and it just shows beautiful shape, beautiful light, simplicity, and that would be one of my other real favorites. One of the most, as or the most important aspects is to develop a relationship with your client, make them feel comfortable, make them feel at ease. When the model or the client feel awkward or uncomfortable in front of the camera, it really tends to show. To spend an extra five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes, even if you need to take them out for a coffee before the shoot, just to develop that little bit of rapport and that comfort that they have with you in a room alone most of the time, I think that makes a huge difference to the outcome of the photography.